All right, kids, Puppet Steve here today with one of the most requested Benny and the Ink Machine items that you want me to unbox, the Benny and the Ink Machine playset. Oh, yeah. And I know it's been a little while since I unveiled this thing around Christmas time, and boy, have we been busy, but now we're able to get to this thing personally and unbox it. All right, it's about time, Puppet Steve. Well, I want to see what this thing does. Oh, you and me both, Bendy, because this is the first time we've got one of these really cool places to work with our figures. All right, so unbox it already. Done and done. All right, kids, so here we finally have that Bendy Ink Slime Machine playset, which work with our Series 1 figures. And as you can see right there, yep, it says Series 1. So that's pretty cool. It's part of that first Series line. And if you want one for your very own, well, I've been seeing these at GameStop and at the Bendy and the Ink Machine.com store. So make sure you check out those places if you want one of your very own. And I gotta say, as far as this box goes, this is pretty cool, look at this. We've got this display window so we can see inside the package to see the cool ink machine inside. And let's see, on the box here it says it includes one jar of ink slime. All right, cool, because I'm not sure where to get that uh, outside of the machine here. And let's see, if we look at the side of the box, we see all oh, the ink demon looking over us because we know he's always lurking about. Yep, that's right. Oh, and I can't wait to see what this ink machine does, because this is my masterpiece! Oh, get out of here! <laughs> uh, more on you later, but uh, let's see, what's on the back here? Yeah, it looks like it shows us how this machine works, so we'll do just that in a little bit. But now it's time for some unboxing, and let's get this place out of here. And the first thing we have is, yep, that can of slime. And interestingly enough, it looks just like one of those ink bottles that we got a couple months ago to unbox that contained all those Bendy and the Ink Machine heads. So I'm not sure if they took the same bottles and packaged them in each box here or what, but I guess when we open this up, we'll find out if there's a head inside or not. <laughs> That'd be funny. But all right, let's open this up here. And we get to see our first Bendy playset. And this is pretty cool because you know what? Funko has never made a playset for Five Nights at Freddy's, which is a shame because I would just love a show stage playset. But thankfully, we finally get a playset for our Bendy figures. So yep, they've got one over on Five Nights at Freddy's. And of course, there is the awesome looking Bendy ink machine. Perfect, and just look at all the detail on this. We've got pipes running down this way. We've got this right here that says ink. And then we've got that Bendy logo right there. <laughs> oh, I gotta like that Bendy face. And of course, just like in a video game, we got all those gears and gizmos ramping around this thing. And then we have the ink machine spout, which looks just like it does in the video game. It looks like down here it captures all the ink. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like this side's just the same as this side with a couple differences in tow. And let's see, on the back here, there's a couple handles, which, oh, okay, cool. Looks like uh, we put the ink in there, maybe? Or, oh, I think that's where the ink gets deposited, which you put in top here. Nice. So that's the uh, little cartridge for the ink to sit in. And let's see, what's on the bottom here? Mm, not really sure, but yeah, we're gonna find out soon enough. And let's see, if we go back to the box here, it looks like we get an extra pipe which looks like it's hollow inside, so I'm really curious to see where this thing goes. Let's see, any way to place it there? No, nope, it doesn't look like it. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think I know what it is. Let's see, put this right here. Yeah, click into place. Yeah, there we go. And nope, it's not a pipe at all, but ooh, a crank. Oh, cool, so that one, that's what that does. I bet that cranks out the ink. Ha, <laughs> just like a regular ink machine. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. This thing is looking amazing. Yes, but now we need the ink, the ink, the ink. <laughs> ah, then my place it will be complete. All right, all right, calm down, Ink Demon. We'll get your ink. And of course, here we have that ink bottle because no ink machine is complete without some ink to put in it. And of course, since we're gonna be dealing with ink here, it's time to put on my ink holding gloves. So let's put on our gloves here. And ba blam we're ready to operate with some ink. Oh, cool. I gotta cut this down the middle here. Ugh. And pull this wrapping off, because once we pull this thing apart, yeah, there we go, we find the black ink inside. Ugh, gross. And like I said, the uh, ink that we opened up in the past had a bent head in here. So let's see if we get the same thing in this ink bottle here. So let's see, pull this out. 
And yep, there's definitely an ink head inside. And this time we get, <laughs> oh man, how predictable. We get an ink demon head. Oh, that's so funny. So yep, we have ink demon head in the ink. So let's grab the uh, ink here, put it back in this bottle. And then we're gonna dispense with the ink. Oh yeah. So let's get out our construction set that controls the pump and turn this thing on. Oh, and now this thing is chugging along. <laughs> chugga, chugga, chugga. All right, let's go up here and put in the ink into this crazy ink machine. So, whoops. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I dropped all the ink. So let's go ahead and do this again very carefully. Because, ooh, this stuff is super oozy. Yeah, get in there. And, ooh, look at that. Just go in there. Blah. Nice. So once that ink is secure inside this ink machine, let's see, I bet it's uh, safe and sound in this little port right here. And nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, it actually fell in there, but I guess this is a quick access port to uh, access the ink. So let's see, let's put it into this tray here and put it back into the machine like so. And as you can see on the front of this machine, there's no ink coming out just yet. So I'm sure this crank has something to do with that. So let's go ahead and turn this crank and commence with the oozing. And oh, look at that. Oh, I see ink coming down that chute there. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, there it comes. So let's keep on turning this crank. And yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. We finally get some ink pouring out of this ink machine. Oh, it's kind of like one of those uh, Play-Doh sets. Yep, there's the ink coming out of this awesome machine. Blech. And of course, let's get that little demon head. <laughs> yeah, put that in the ink there. Ugh, that's so gross. And yep, there's the ink coming out. Courtesy of this cool cranky thing. Ah, cool. So yeah, I like how they did that. And there, of course, is the really cool ink machine playset. Ah, yes! And with the ink finally spilled out of this thing, my plans for taking over the world is complete! Uh, how's he gonna take over the world with an ink machine that works? That's weird. Hey, don't worry about him. He's just getting delusional in his old age. Oh, haha, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Now, even though this ink machine is really cool, what makes it even cooler is if we play with it with our action figures. Ah, yeah! And what's nice about it is that, so far, we've got ourselves three series of characters that will work with this awesome playset. And since I ended up displaying all these characters against this ink machine here, there's one thing that I'm kind of noticing is that these characters that are yellow and black look like they fit in a lot better than the ones that are just white and black. Oh, weird, so I guess that's why they're releasing all the characters in this yellow and black color scheme, like with what they did with old Sammy Lawrence here. Because once you put him next to this cool playset, well, they kind of fit right in with that color scheme. Yeah, let's see, I just don't want this ink to just sit here, so let's pick all this up and put this back in the top because, well, we're gonna use this all, all over again. And of course, with the ink reloaded, let's see, let's turn this clockwise here and get some more ink out of this ink machine. And whoa, it's really coming out now. Oh, man, I think it's coming out even faster than before. And whoa, just check out that consistency. Boy, that's really flowing now. So I guess the more you use this thing, the faster it comes out, which is nice, because boy, it was coming out really slow there to begin with. Oh man, what the heck? Oh, searchers came out of that ink. Oh man. And of course, since we're on the subject of construction set characters, interestingly enough, if you don't collect these articulated figures, well, no matter, because those aren't the only things I think that'll work nicely with this ink machine set. Because if we take all those construction set figures that they've released in the past and start setting those up around the ink machine here, I think those would look really cool around this thing as well. And wow, yep, I gotta say that this display looks pretty darn cool because all well, the characters are yellow and black, just like the ink machine here. Well, we've also got those blind can mystery figures that uh, are super cool too. And we've got tons of characters. Like, yeah, these guys right here, the good old Butcher Gang, which they haven't made in any other line yet. And of course, as you know, I just love the Butcher Gang. So let's see, let's put these guys around the uh, ink machine here. And let's see, we'll put that searcher guy in the ink. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And yep, we've even got the projector, so that's cool. Get that guy over there. 
And yeah, there we go. We have another nice looking display with all these little minifigures. And of course, I just love these characters standing around it because like I said, we've got the Butcher Gang finally and we can display with that ink machine. Ah, nice. And of course, better yet, if you display that backing that comes in the back of this package, we got a nice little display piece too that we can display behind this thing. Look at this. Ooh, this looks straight out of the bending in the ink machine there. So let's take this and put this behind the ink machine. And oh boy, I just love that. Ooh, that looks really cool. And of course, if we're gonna really display this nicely, looks like we're gonna have to get those articulated figures back out. The uh, yellow and black ones, of course and display these around the ink machine so we can feel the whole effect of this display with the playset. And of course, I think we still have some room for our little searchers here from the construction set figures. Ah, oh, yeah, now this one Benny in the ink machine playset scene that I am proud to have. Oh, I love it. What do you think, kids? That look cool or what? Now we just need to figure out Boris the Wolf from that yellow and black paint scheme and we would be complete with all the characters that they've released so far. I can't tell you how excited I am that Fat Mojo is starting to make playsets for these really cool figures. And I hope at Toy Fair next month, they've got a couple more on display because we really need some more playsets. All right, kids, well, there it is. The really cool Bendy Ink Slime Machine coming at you from Series 1 of the Bendy Articulated Figures. Nice.